Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to slay and lay your lace wig or frontal. So first, I like to start by measuring the frontal on my head. And what I really like about this frontal is that it really has like the dips and grooves of like a natural hairline. So it's not just like straight and it doesn't look weird. So as you can see, I start to part the um, hair and I'm parting it like a centimeter behind the edges. You don't want to start plucking the hair on the actual like edges. You want to start plucking a little bit behind it so that it starts to look more realistic and natural. You don't want to be plucking away at hair and not have anything in the front. So as you can see, I actually started by just pulling the hair. I thought that it would be faster than plucking, but after a while, you'll see that I just went back to using my tweezers. But pulling did help a little bit, as you can see right there. Um, in that spot, I did get some hair to go away. So I just continue parting the hair, and now I have brought my tweezers in. So now I'm gonna be tweezing. This process takes a long time. It probably took me like an hour to just tweeze the whole entire um, hairline. So right here, I'm just plucking a little bit in the front. I know I said don't really pluck in the front, but I'm just plucking a little bit in the front to get like um, more of my natural hairline because the grooves don't not necessarily match with my hairline. So I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but you can kind of see a little bit of the hair like going away to make it look more realistic. So now I'm doing both methods. I'm plucking with the tweezers and I'm also pulling. So here's a closer look of the left and the right side of the hair, of the frontal. Um, as you can see right there, it's really thick still because I, I have not touched it yet. And then as you can see on the left side, it started thinning away a little bit and it looks more natural because that's where I was plucking. And like I said before, I was plucking behind, like a centimeter behind the hairline. So I repeated the process on the right side as well and this is my final product so far. As you can see the front of the hairline is thinned out a little bit and it's going to look more natural on my head. So here's a side by side of how the hairline looked initially with the frontal before I plucked it and here is on the right my thinned out hairline. So now I'm going to sew the lace frontal onto my wig cap. Here I'm just using a pin to get it steady. So I'm starting to sew the frontal on and I sometimes I get a bit confused on how to sew frontals onto a wig cap. This is only my second one. It's a bit different than sewing just a closure. But I'm sewing like how I plucked. I'm sewing behind the um, edges and the hairline. I'm not sewing like right in the front. I want some hair to cover it. So that's the secret. Um, to sewing this down. You want to sew like kind of behind the hairline and I'll zoom in in a little bit to show you guys what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to sew this all the way up until the top. I'm pretty much going to stop here for sewing it down because I don't want it to look weird when it gets to the top. You want to leave it kind of open up there like you would with your closure. So here is a close-up of where I stitch it. It's pretty much like invisible and that's what I like. So it's just behind the hair and it's just going to keep it in place and look good. So now that I've finished, i finished sewing the bundles onto the wig cap and the closure. Now I'm going to adjust it and make it look more natural and realistic. 
So that is how their hairline looks right now after I've plucked it, but I need to get my baby hairs laid, ladies. So I am taking a blade right now um, instead of scissors because the blade makes it more of like a not clean slash uniformed like, you know, razor sharp, sharp look. So I am still just playing with my edges. Um, and the baby hairs because the baby hair is key to making your frontals look good ladies You don't one you don't want your baby hairs to be too long Two, You don't want them to be non-existent because they are going to help in hiding the um, Demarcation line from the frontal on your forehead So it's really really important that you lay the baby hairs properly and I love to use my um, brown eyeshadow to make it look even better so to make your lace uh, frontal look more flawless, you want to add a powdery like you know eyeshadow or um, powdery concealer to the lace of the frontal. You don't want to use liquid because it might like you know rub off at the end of the day. But by adding eyeshadow, it helps it look more seamless and flawless. And I just got my eyeshadow from the dollar store. So as you can see, it actually kind of looks like it's coming from my scalp a little bit. The lace of the frontal was a bit lighter than my forehead, so the eyeshadow helped a lot. And I just love it. So that's that. I really hope this video was informative, ladies, and helpful because I know it's really, really hard to lay our lace frontals down and make it look great. Um, I don't have anything holding it down right now either. I don't have glue, nor do I have tape. Um, I will be sewing the elastic band onto this wig so that it'll stay down better. But right now I just have two bobby pins on the sides. So thanks so much for watching. Please comment below if you have any questions. I'll put all the links down below for this closure in the hair because I love it. It's from Virgo Hair off of AliExpress. It's amazing. So thanks so much for watching. Please thumbs up the video and please remember to subscribe. Bye guys.